हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सनी सर फ्रॉम मोदी इंग्लिश स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास थ्री सब्जेक्ट ग्रामर सो बिफोर वी कंटिन्यू विथ अवर वीडियो लेट अस रीड द थॉट फॉर टुडे ट्रीट अदर्स द वे यू वॉन्ट टू बी ट्रीटेड सो द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस थॉट इज दैट गिव रिस्पेक्ट एंड टेक रिस्पेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट अदर्स टू ट्रीट यू नाइसली politely then in return you also have to treat them in the same way when you treat someone with respect politely and then you can expect the person to be polite with you in case if you do not treat a person nicely then you will not get the respect you want or you deserve so see that give respect and take respect that is the meaning the content of this video is lesson number 8 pronouns that we had just begun in the previous video as you might have watched the video today we shall learn the concept of subject pronouns and object pronouns in the previous video the exercise which we had solved the first exercise i will just show the answers and recap of the previous video within few minutes in that we have learned the subject pronouns so we'll see that and then we will read further and solve the textual exercises so today our target is learning subject pronouns and object pronouns so let me give you the recap of the previous video so as i told you in previous video we had learnt the concept of pronouns that is lesson number 8 in that i had explained what are pronouns so pronouns are the words that replaces nouns in the place of nouns the words which we put are called pronouns and what are the examples of the pronouns that we had learned these are the examples i me she we they who that yours his her it etc these are all pronouns then we had learned some more pronouns i had told you for girls you can use all these pronouns she her hers herself for boy you can use he him his himself for animal or object non living thing you can use it its or itself for group of people you can use they them theirs and themselves this is what we had seen then after we had read the lesson from the textbook as you can see this is what is the first page of the textbook how it looks like of lesson number 8 pronouns and many of you already have the textbooks and you are sitting with your textbooks i suppose and even today before we continue i want you to take out your rough book pencil eraser so that you will be writing the answers of the exercises that we discuss also we will discuss the exercise which we discussed yesterday i will just show you the answers so in yesterday's video we had discussed about this five pictures in this the boy is sitting over here manish so for boy we write he cat is sitting over here for animal we write it the girl over here sheila for the girl we write she for the baby who is sleeping we write it because it is a baby then the fifth image we could see the group of students right so these are my best friends we are classmates the girl over here standing in between she says that these two are classmates of the girl so all the three are classmates so which pronoun shall we use we we are classmates because the girl herself is speaking the sentence so we have to use pronoun we then we had learned the definition of pronouns words that are used instead of nouns are called pronouns i had told you to note down the definition also then after we had solved exercise number 1 here is exercise 1 for all those who have not watched the previous video please watch it we had written answers to this exercise so here are the answers i have displayed again on the screen just i will read the sentence because explanation part has got over in the previous video exercise 
fill in the blanks with suitable pronouns mangoes are delicious they grow on trees anita is a famous singer she has sung many songs the boy is so tall that he will easily reach the shelf the lion is roaring because it is hungry tanu and i are cousins we study in the same school pankaj and ajay live in the same area they are classmates you can go to play after you finish tidying your room so this was exercise 1 that we had completed in the previous video also i had told you that all these answers which we have written all the pronouns that we have used in the above blanks are called subject pronouns because they take the place of the subject in a sentence the pronouns that come in place of the subject of a sentence are called subject pronouns which are the subject pronouns that we have used i we he she it they you and we these pronouns are subject pronouns so concept of subject pronouns should be clear in your mind the pronouns that we have used in exercise 1 are subject pronouns now let us move ahead and learn about object pronouns by solving exercise number 2 so here is the heading of the exercise i want you to give the heading of the exercise on the new page because this is something which we have not done in the previous video this is a new exercise that we are solving today so what is the heading i am going to read the heading for you you should write the whole heading in the new page on a new page you will give the heading so what's the heading rewrite these sentences by replacing the bold words with subject pronouns rewrite these sentences by replacing the bold words with subject pronouns so the sentences are given over here you will see six sentences in this exercises in this particular exercise number 2 there are six sentences and in each sentence you could see the bold black words like over here summer is given the villagers like that the bold words are given the words are highlighted in black color they have bold font and we have to replace those words and write pronouns we have to use the pronouns over there so which pronouns shall we use we shall use the subject pronouns and which are the subject pronouns that we have learnt i we he she it they you and we these are the subject pronouns that we have learnt in the above exercise so the same pronouns the same pronouns we have to use over here in this exercise number 2 instead of the names which are highlighted like as i told you in bold they have given the names instead of that names we have to use pronouns we have to replace those names with the subject pronouns we have to replace the bold font the bold names which are highlighted with the pronouns so now you already know for boy we use he for girl we use she for anything we use it even for animals we use it but what if there are more than one person a group of people is there we can use they or we it depends on the sentence so let us apply whatever we have learnt so question number 1 you should only write the answers because the pdf of the lesson has already been sent in your whatsapp group you may check it out so you should just write the answers in your notebook along with the video number 1 summer gave me a new pen summer gave me a new pen now we are as you can see the highlighted word is summer s a m a r so what do you think is it a name of a boy or a girl of course we know that summer should be the name of a boy so for boy we use the 
pronoun he as you can see above all the subject pronouns are given over here so if from this you have to select any one for boy summer so summer is a boy we use he it is the name of a boy s a m a r summer so let's write the sentence with the pronoun so this is the answer which you have to write in your book instead of summer what did i use i used he because summer is a boy so i replaced the noun with pronoun he and the rest of the sentence as it is i have not made change in any other word i have kept the whole sentence as it is till full stop if you can notice i have not changed any other word i have just replaced the noun with pronoun he summer gave me a new pen he gave me a new pen see gave me a new pen is as it is instead of name i have used he so i hope you have written answer number 1 number 2 the villagers are looking for their watchman the villagers are looking for their watchman now the villagers see over here it is clearly seen it is plural it is not singular so plural means more than one the people living in village are called the villagers so is there any one or many there are many people so it is plural more than one when it is plural which options do we have which pronoun can we use for plural we cannot use he she it for plural we can use they or we we can either use they or we but here the person himself is not speaking the sentence so we have we have the option of they two options are there for plural they and we but can we use we over here no we have to use pronoun they t h e y they because villagers are so many more than one so instead of the villagers i will write they and as it is the rest of the sentence so here you could see the answer which i have written the villagers are looking for their watchman they are looking for their watchman no change in any other word till full stop it is as it is only i have replaced the villagers with they instead of the villagers i have written pronoun they because villagers is plural and so we have to use pronoun they so that is the second answer i expect you have written the answer just one word you have to change number 3 seema and raina are friends seema and raina are friends now it is about two is it one person or more than one it is more than one person see one girl one boy seema and raina so again like the previous sentence we just saw the villagers it is plural so we used pronoun they similarly in this sentence it is plural because we are talking about two people it is not about any one person it is about two seema and raina so it is plural and so again we have to use the pronoun they and write the answer so the answer is they are friends the question was seema and raina are friends they are friends instead of seema and raina i have written they are friends are friends as it is no change in any other word except for the bold font seema and raina that is the highlighted font it is highlighted so we have to replace seema and raina with they because it is more than one so they are friends number 4 the pen writes well the pen writes well so it is about a pen and as you all know the pen is a non living thing like pencil eraser sharpener etc all the things that you have in your compass box it is non living the pen writes well so the highlighted word over here is the pen and which pronoun shall we use for the non living things for the non living things we use pronoun it i had told you he she it 
are the basic pronouns that we use from that we use it for non living things and also for animals so here let us replace the pen with pronoun it so the answer is it writes well it writes well i have not changed the later part see writes well writes well as it is no change the pen i have replaced this bold font with it instead of the pen i have written it because the pen is non living so we have to use the pronoun it next number 5 gina is gina has many books gina has many books so what do we have to change what is the highlighted font in bold that is gina gina is the name of a girl so in the previous one you saw the first one for summer we used he similarly over here the name of a girl is given so we use she instead of gina we use she let's write the answer so the answer is she has many books what is the answer she has many books i have not changed the other things in the sentence as you can see has many books has many books as it is just i have replaced sheena gina with she that is what change we have done now let us see the last sentence number 6 abhishek is a good boy abhishek is a good boy so over here as you can see abhishek that is the name of a boy obviously it is written over here boy so you know that it is a name of a boy so just as in the first sentence we used he for summer similarly in this sentence for abhishek which pronoun shall we use we shall use the pronoun he and write the answer so here is the answer i have written he is a good boy he is a good boy instead of abhishek i have written he i have changed the pro i have changed the noun abhishek with the pronoun he because it's a name of a boy so we use he in the previous one gina was the name of a girl so we used she so all these are the subject pronouns that we have learnt and we have practiced in exercise 1 and exercise number 2 now moving ahead to the next one that is object pronouns i told you in the beginning of the video that today we are going to learn the concept of subject pronouns as well as object pronouns so let us read these three examples which are given over here number 1 this book belongs to him they want to play with me she made this painting for us again this book belongs to him they want to play with me she made this painting for us so the highlighted words are used in the place of objects in the sentences see this highlighted words are these last three words him me us they are used in the place of objects these words are used in the place of objects and so they are called object pronouns what are they called him me us these are called object pronouns pronouns that come in place of the object of a sentence are called object pronouns so write this definition in your notebook pronouns that come in the place of the object of the sentence are called object pronouns examples you got him me us so note what is given the object in the sentence is the person or the thing which is receiver of the action so what is the object meaning of the word object means who is receiving the action for example this book belongs to him so who is receiving the action whom will the book go to the book will go to him so that boy is receiving the action he is the receiver of the action so him is object then they want to play with me so whom do they want to play with they want to play with me she made this painting for us whom did she make this painting for she made this painting for us 
so when you ask the when you ask the question whom you will get the answer for object pronouns so please write down this is the keyword this is very important keyword for finding out object pronouns you have to ask the question whom and you will get the answer for object pronouns for example this book belongs to him whom does the book belong to belongs to him they want to play with me whom do they want to play with they want to play with me so similarly this is the keyword whom when you ask the keyword whom you will get your object pronoun what is the keyword that you will ask you have to ask the keyword whom in all the sentences when you ask the question whom you will get your object pronouns for example if i tell you one more i want to play with them i want to play with them so i should ask a question whom do i want to play with i want to play with them so again this word whom is the keyword for finding out object pronouns so i hope you have written this keyword you have also written object pronouns that is the keyword whom for that now let's see this table and also write the table in your notebook it's very important table for you to learn so what is the table about this table is about subject pronouns and object pronouns that you have just learnt right now we have learnt about subject pronouns in exercise 1 and 2 and we have learnt a few examples of object pronouns along with the keyword whom now what is the difference between subject pronoun and object pronoun let's have a look i me you you he him she her they them it it so did you notice something that two will not change which are the two that will not change one is you and one is it these are the two pronouns that will not change you and it these two pronouns will be as it is if it is in subject or in object that will not change but other pronouns will change i will become me he will become him she becomes her they becomes them so that is how the change in pronouns occur that is what you have to learn this table is very important you have to memorize this table you have to learn this table for exam so please see that you write this table one time in homework and if possible you can write it one time daily so that you don't forget this for one week please write this table daily in your notebook so one more time i will read this table so that you can read along with me i me he him she her they them so on the left hand side we have subject pronouns on the right hand side we have object pronouns that is how you differentiate between these two now as we have learned about object pronouns let us solve the third exercise which is based on object pronouns so exercise number 3 give the heading in your notebook you have to give the heading on the new page the heading will be fill in the blanks with the correct object pronouns from the box fill in the blanks with the correct object pronouns from the box so they have given six object pronouns let us read which are they them it you her him me and we have to put this in the correct blanks now let us start reading and write the answers selecting from the box the cushion is on the sofa you are sitting on dash the cushion is on the sofa you are sitting on dash now cushion is a non living thing on sofa you have cushion on cushion you can also sleep at night you put your head on it it is a very soft thing made of cotton so that is a non living thing so for that we use it so answer number 1 is it the cushion is on the sofa you are sitting on it number 2 preeti wanted to have an ice cream the waiter handed the corn to dash 
Now we are talking about the girl Preeti Preeti is the name of a girl so who wanted the ice cream Preeti wanted the ice cream so the waiter handed the corn to her we have to select her because for the girl Preeti the pronoun which is appropriate over here is her so answer number 2 is her i have written from the box option is given over here preeti wanted to have an ice cream the waiter handed the corn to her her refers to noun preeti her means preeti here it it means sofa it it means cushion it refers to cushion here her refers to preeti number 3 mother bought apples before eating wash dash properly before eating wash dash properly now mother bought many apples see apples means more than one so for more than one we can use the pronoun them because apples are more than one they are in plural form you see s is given so we use the pronoun them so here is answer number 3 mother bought apples before eating wash them properly here them refers to apples them refers to apples number 4 raven as is good at maths i will ask dash for the answer raven is good at maths i will ask dash for the answer so whom will you ask for the answer whom will you ask you will ask this boy ribbon it is a name of a boy so for boy we use the pronoun him i will ask him for the answer because the name of a boy is given we have written him and him refers to ribbon that is the boy whom we are talking about number 5 the sarkars returned home all neighbors came to meet dash so we are talking about the sarkars means we are talking about many people we are talking about the whole family so when it is more than one which pronoun should we use we use the pronoun them all the neighbors came to meet them because the sarkars means more than one person more than one there are so many people in the family so the answer is the sarkars returned home all the neighbors came to meet them all the neighbors came to meet them that is the answer next this is a lovely dress from which store did you buy dash this is a lovely dress from which store did you buy dash so when you are talking about a dress you know it is a non living thing right here is the dress and it is a non living thing so it is about one dress we write it from where did you buy it as i told you it is non living thing and it is about one single dress so we write it this is my notebook i write important things in dash now notebook is also non living thing again we have to use it just like dress is non living thing we are talking about notebook so i write important things in my notebook so notebook instead of that we use pronoun it so answer is it last excuse me are you talking to dash excuse me are you talking to me what is the sentence that we use for yourself you refer to which pronoun we use the pronoun me which is given over here last in the box which we have not used up till now we use the pronoun me for ourselves when you are talking about yourselves you say are you talking to me so here is the last answer excuse me are you talking to me me means you are talking about yourself so here we complete exercise number 3 and today we also learned the concept of object pronouns in the previous video and in today's video we learned the subject subject pronouns with the help of exercise number 1 and exercise number 2 then we studied a table which is this table subject pronoun and object pronoun i told you to write this table one time in homework also to write this table daily for one week so that you do not forget the difference between subject pronoun and object pronoun 
and also today we solved exercise number 3 that is based on the concept of object pronouns so i hope you have understood each and everything in the video thank you for watching the video and have a nice day